Like those tower guys didn't get back to me either. I gave a notice on Friday for today. Not much sky scenery this past few days, huh? There's, there's just too many clouds and stuff like that. supposed to be the televised federal election debates too oh, I guess I'll have to watch it it comes down to eventually okay who's the lesser of all evils to vote for so I guess I'll have to see that later because it's up to everyone to actually get out there and vote and all that can't complain about anything if you don't do your duty in that sense right the first thing I read today that was kind of interesting was I was trying to find out just how well is that Skydio 2 doing because people always say is there anyone who can compete with DJI because so far it seems like most people who try, they basically fail. But it says here, basically on their official post, it says, Demand has been incredible for Skydeal 2 in the first 32 hours. We're so grateful for the interest and support from all of you. We just sold out our first production batch and now have started taking reservations for production batch 2, which is expected to start shipping in January 2020. There's a limited quantity in this batch as well. So if you've been waiting to grab your place in line for Skydeal 2, now is the time. But when I looked at the site, check this out. It says, this refundable $100 deposit will reserve your place in the Skydeal 2 production batch 3, which is expected to start shipping in Q2 2020 in the order which reservations were placed. Limited quantities are available. So they sold out the second batch as well as of filming this. So they're doing really well, huh? I guess it's expected to. Lots of fanboyism, like if that's what you want to call it. Just people, I guess, who are extremely loyal to a company, just bashing each other and so forth, not being open-minded. It's kind of disappointing because, again, the more competition, the better, in my opinion, and more innovation. I guess now it's, what, Autel's turn to show their work? I haven't really heard anything they're going to announce recently, but yeah, it's for them to kind of show off and stay relevant, I guess you could say. Although I guess from reading the news, they're in the same situation as DJI in terms of those trade tariffs and stuff like that. So who knows? Like I said, maybe Skydeal is the one that benefits 100% from this. And if they keep at it, I think they're going to be a legitimate threat if they aren't right now already. And as usual, I guess with things like drones, you have to consider your local regulations. Because what's the point of buying the drone if you can't fly and stuff, right? Well, it says here, apparently I believe in Singapore, it says new rules on drone usage coming soon. Bill with stiffer penalties for offenses introduced in Parliament. New regulations governing drone usage including compulsory registration of all devices with a takeoff weight above 250 grams and a minimum operator age of 16 could be implemented as soon as the end of this year. These are among the recommendations the Transport Ministry has accepted from an advisory panel which was set up and proposed a framework to regulate drone usage. Other new measures the panel had recommended include making an unmanned aircraft identifiable and capping the registration fee of a drone at $20. The Senior Minister of State, Lam Pin Min, announced the acceptance of the recommendations on Monday, October 7th in a Facebook post. He said, The recommendations are sensible. We need greater accountability. Consider the impact drones can have in humans and property. I have asked the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore to announce the details in the coming weeks. And for some of the parent, I guess, penalties, it says a transport minister fact sheet said a drone operator flying without an activity permit or other required aviation safety instruments can be jailed up to two years for the first offense and up to five years for subsequent offenses. It makes sense to have stuff like this again if people are flying stuff like right in the airport and all that or purposely trying to crash a plane with it, I guess if you want to say. But again, just for the regular person who flies it like recreationally in the backyard just taking a quick photo or something like that I don't see the big deal if they fly really low for example and I guess for anyone who says yeah they make perfect sense for the recreational guys and all that stuff keep it away because of safety and all that I guess you have to remember even stories here where when people like police want to use it in replace of things like to say a helicopter now they have to deal with the stigma of saying oh no these things can kill people and all that even though technically they're a lot safer in many ways so it needs to be reasonable there has to be a good balance of all this
All right, see you guys later.